So first and foremost, I am not an architect. I am an architectural designer and I work in the architecture industry. Just want to avoid, you know, getting put in jail or whatever, because it's uh, illegal in Australia to claim you are. I know it says architect in the title of the video, but that was just clickbait to get you to watch this. But you know, I'm an architectural designer, same mm, kind of same thing, not really. But we're going to be looking at OpenAI Sora, um, and I'm going to react to this, and I'm going to kind of share my opinion on what this means for the architecture industry, as I do specialize in a lot of incorporation of AI. Saying you specialize in AI kind of sounds like a bit of a whack term to say, honestly, but so let's first off, let's have a look and react to this. So we have the, the OpenAI website where uh, OpenAI have kind of put together these videos to demonstrate the capabilities of it. Now, I have watched a few of these before. So yes, my first reaction is it is pretty amazing what it can do. Um, we saw this coming from a long time ago. I think we even discussed that it would get to this point, although we were expecting AI to reach this point, not until the end of this year, we were gonna say the end of 2024 is when we kind of predicted it would get to this level. So obviously AI is advancing at a huge rate. Um, I think saying, you know, oh, AI is advancing so fast, like it's the people working on it, you know, the people at OpenAI sitting there, um, dedicating themselves to the research, the coding, the algorithms, how, how this all works. I think it's a big misconception. People think, you know, all of this was made by AI itself and that AI just started replicating itself and it's developing so fast. It's just algorithms and uh, inputs and all that. But yes, they are developing this very fast and the capabilities of it are obviously uh, expanding. A bit of a concerning rate, um, but let's just react to this actual footage. From a distance, yes, it looks very impressive, but once you start getting closer, you'll notice all of the hand movements a little bit uncanny. Uh, visually, it's very accurate. I'm sure if you froze any frame, like, if you freeze any frame, it would be very difficult now to actually point out any errors. You know, you can see there's a slight uncanniness with the perspective of the camera, um, like the lens length, the land in the background just doesn't quite seem where it should be, but obviously these are things that will easily be refined in future iterations. It's it's like 70% there, you would say, but it is pretty uh, stunning to where it has become. You know, I'm not sure what kind of reaction I should have to this, like, it looks cool. And yeah, so obviously this is evolving at a extremely rapid rate. Uh, if you're in the film industry, music industry, yes, this is going to have huge implications and I would be worried. Um, I see a lot of people saying, we need to stop this. Uh, this is horrible. Like, oh, my job's in jeopardy. Uh, we're going to lose everything. Honestly, I'm going to say, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> that is going to happen. Uh, not much you can really do about it. You can't sit here and say, stop the progress of something. I'm sure when they started building cars with robots instead of people, the people that were working there were saying, please, no, 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 no. Let's just, uh, let's, I reckon everyone should have a mutual agreement. Let's, let's not develop machines anymore. I want to continue doing it by hand. And I think the same kind of thing is happening here with AI. In terms of architecture, how this will work with architecture, um, there is still one pivotal reason why this won't be easily, uh, as easily incorporated into kind of the architecture pipeline is because this will still struggle with the same issue as we're struggling with now with um, current AI, like mid journey, stable diffusion, uh, essentially image prompting AI. If I go to one of our images, this is the uh, AI image that we generated. One thing we're really struggling with in our architecture firm with incorporating AI is the AI doesn't understand a 3D model or has no concept of say an input of a CAD model. Even the ArchiCAD AI plugin is literally just stable diffusion slapped on top and you're just inputting the simple image into your image prompter. The AI itself does not understand that this is a 3D CAD model that is spatialized and visualized. And again, this is simply just a image prompt based AI, but now in say 30 images per second or frames per second, however many looks like 60 frames per second. So this essentially this AI is just producing 60 images per second and displaying it to us. And each of those images, are just an iteration of each frame to create a movie essentially. So I'm not particularly worried about this in terms of the built environment. Uh, the day that open AI comes out and say, 
hey, we've got a CAD model and we've put it into the AI and the AI is AI algorithms are incorporated into the, the 3D visualization of this CAD model and is able to produce, you know, videos and images based on a 3D CAD model. That is when I'm going to say, all right, well, yeah, <laughs> that's when it's going to start to be over for architects. But I still believe there is at least a few years before we're able to even get to that point because everything we're seeing with AI right now is based off of images, prompts, and simple imagery rather than actual 3D environments. Having your AI algorithms actually understand and be able to have control over an interface of a 3D environment. So yes, this is very impressive. I'm sure you could make a render, chuck a render into this and then animate your uh, AI building. But say we inputted this into our into the new mid journey, or sorry, into the new open AI and said, animate this. It could like make these people start walking, could make these cars drive past. It could maybe even change the time of day of this. But as soon as you want to visualize, you know, walking into this building and then turning right inside, AI is not going to know what's inside this building, how it should be visualized. Uh, I'm just going to use this term, the AI knows. I think that's kind of a BS term, but the AI doesn't actually know that this is a flat plane that then goes onto a wall, which you then enter inside. It simply just understands this image as based on any other image on the internet. If that makes sense, uh, it's kind of a hard concept to explain, but if you get it, you get it. If you don't, it's unfortunate. Um, yeah, so again, this is really just another thing that's like, oh, yep, that happened faster than we thought it would. How will this actually impact architects right now? Probably not much at all. It's again, one of those things we have to continue just watching it and see where it ends up going. So um, yeah, there's not much to say, really. You know, it is an amazing piece of technology, which will be interesting to see where it goes. Uh, I know unrelated to architecture, I know this can be used for a lot of bad and a lot of sinister reasons. They say they've put on... Oh, safety features to keep it a safe environment. People that are evil will always use these for bad things. It doesn't matter how much they will find a way around this. They have with ChatGPT, they have with Midjourney, they have with Stable Diffusion. Uh, I think there's, you know, safety. Red team and domain experts, like misinformation, hateful content. Oh, that, that, that's not even what I'm talking about. Like people will use this for like genuinely bad things, but real world. Despite extinction, we cannot predict all the beneficial ways people use our technology, not all the ways people abuse it. Yeah, so obviously OpenAI don't even really care about that. It's like, they're just putting it out there saying, not us, not our problem. If you want to use it for bad things, do it. Uh, that's kind of unrelated to architecture. Just my opinion on that. Uh, yeah, if you're in the mu movie industry, music industry, you're a bit screwed. I'm sorry about that. Um, not my problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but... Not really. I'm kidding about more so not because, I mean, it will get to architecture eventually. I mean, I even do a bit of 3D visualization jobs. I know this is going to have a big problem with that. But yeah, my best advice to you would just be to keep an eye on it. Keep up to date. I had a few friends that didn't even know that this came out when I sent it to them. They're like, whoa, what the heck? Um, if, if you don't keep up to date and don't keep looking at these things, you're going to eventually, it's going to reach a point where it uh, passes you and you're going to be like, Man, what is this? I don't even know what AI has become anymore. So the best thing you can do is just to keep looking at things like this and keep up to date with it. Uh, yeah, so at the moment, architecture, pretty safe. Movie industry, music industry, things like that. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Not good for you. But yeah, that's just my opinion on OpenAI Sora. I hope that uh, gave you some value or some understanding of where it's at. But thank you for watching.